Hey ladies, welcome back to another episode of Michaela Pink After Dark. I'm your host, Michaela Pink, and I'm so happy that you all have tuned in once again to hear this lovely advice. <laughs> Girl, I had to come make this video because, um, let me scoot a little closer, because um, there has been discussion in the group since the beginning of time. Since the beginning of time. Um, why do I have to wear makeup? How come I have to wear makeup? It's so hot where I live. What's wrong with no makeup? Can I just wear a bronzer? No. The answer, the full 100% answer to those questions is yes. You have to wear makeup. 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 People in the back over there, you guys have to wear makeup. You need to wear makeup. You need to wear makeup. You, 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 all the people in the front need to wear makeup. And here's why. Um, <laughs> because you're ugly without it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. For real. I'm just kidding. But you need to wear makeup because makeup is more than just blush and contour and, you know, eyelashes and all that good stuff. Makeup is an expression um, of who you are. Makeup is um, your personality. Makeup tells people what you think about yourself, how you feel about yourself, how you're feeling that day. Makeup is so much more than the actual products. It doesn't matter if you're wearing a lip liner. It doesn't matter if you've exfoliated before you've done it. The fact that you took the time out of your day to look at yourself, to make sure you blended well, to make sure, you know, you don't have harsh lines and, you know, that you can't see all the stuff you did to your nose to contour it and make it smaller. The fact that you took the time to make sure that you are presenting yourself well says so much more about you than, um... I went and spent $140 on a foundation today. That's not the point of wearing makeup. The point of wearing makeup is so that when people see you, they say, oh man, she must really care about herself because she wants to look her best. If she wants to look her best, that means that she's going to require the best from me too. I can't have step with her because I know she really values her time. She really values the way, the message that she's putting forth. So I need to bring my A game if I'm going to talk to this lady. That's what makeup is about. Makeup is also about self-control. And I'll explain why. You have to sit there for hours on end perfecting your makeup. You have to practice, you have to try again, you have to wipe it off. Sometimes you have to walk away and just start over. It requires self-control because you have to be still. You have to sit with yourself, be in your thoughts. You know, oh, let me see. Oh, oh, that's ugly. Wipe it off and start over. You have to tell yourself positive things like, Oh, bitch, that contour is popping. You have to have positive self-talk if you're going to do your makeup. Hello? So it requires controlling your mind. It requires controlling your hand, being able to blend and make sure you have the proper brushes. Let me tell you something about makeup brushes. <laughs> this is a sermon. Your makeup brushes are kind of like your magic wands. Makeup and the application of makeup is 
kind of like voodoo, kind of like witchcraft. Those wands, those makeup brushes take you from, oh my goodness, basic to baddie in like two hours. You get to dipping and twirling and flipping and all of that. And it's like, you know, Cinderella has been reborn in your face, you know? So it's kind of like magic. It's like, okay, before makeup, I had men um, wanting me to pay half the bills and wanting to share expenses and want me to pay for my portion of the date and want me to go online and buy my movie ticket before we get to the movies and making me sneak snacks in my purse when we go to the movies only taking me to the movies where it's dark. You go from that girl, that lady, that woman, to five-star restaurants, trips on private jets, you know, uh, beach houses in Maui, condos in Aspen. You know, you go from that to that real quick when you start putting on makeup. You up your value almost 100% when you put on makeup. Most of us, um, not a real pretty sight without makeup. <laughs> if I get to wiping and smearing and smudging and you know, getting all this stuff off, it's gonna be a whole different lady in front of this camera. <laughs> you know, it just is what it is. Most of us have fine lines, wrinkles, you know, smile lines and um, you know, indentations and foreheads that wrinkle and most of us have things like that especially as that clock keeps ticking and it does every day i don't care if you are 21 or if you're 81 if you want to feel beautiful and be perceived as beautiful and be able to walk into a room and command the room if you want to be able to have somebody call you up one day and just say, you know what, I'm tired of you always complaining about that job. I'm sick of you, you know, complaining about your boss always hitting on you. Don't even worry about going to work tomorrow. I got you. When you want to start having these sorts of conversations, then you're going to want to start perfecting your look. You're going to want to start playing in that makeup because this little $30 palette that you just bought may buy you, um, a letter of resignation. Just saying. <laughs> Makeup is essential for every woman. Every woman. Um, and I'll, I'll give an age range from, I'll say from the age of 21 and older. Because between the ages of, you know, 16 and 21, um, people really don't take you that seriously anyway. So, um, you know, having perfect makeup really doesn't do anything to up your um, stock or anything like that. Because you're playing in a pool where, you know, the men are most likely not really having um, good jobs and things like that. So, um, that's really not the audience that I'm speaking to now. I'm talking about the women. The grown women. You know, the women who are looking to get married, who are dating seriously, who are no longer wanting to work, the women who never even started to want to work. These are the women that I'm talking to. If you want a man to value you, you have to first value yourself. And you can start doing that by playing in your makeup. It, it seems like it's... Um, too simple it seems like okay I know I should have to do more than this like okay how do I show him um, which I said in my last video how do I show him I'm interested how do I let him know I appreciate all his hard work and everything he's doing for me how do I do that and I say you do that by beating your face you do that by making sure you look as close to his idea of perfection as you possibly can Makeup helps you get there. Um, when I put on makeup, I go from, you know, I don't know, late 40s possibly to, you know, dabbling in the 20s. You know, makeup takes years off your appearance. Makeup helps you 
you know, when you've done your makeup, you can smile more. When you have on pretty lipstick, you can, you know. And like now, um, I'm filming this right now, okay? And it is about 10 o'clock at night. And um, my makeup is still on. My makeup does not get removed until I am no longer being seen by anyone of importance. <laughs> if you have a man in your household who is paying your bills, do your makeup. If you have a sugar daddy who's giving you money because he's paying your bills, do your makeup. If you have um, children who are in school and they have friends and they like their associates and their acquaintances, do your makeup. If you belong to a church or a synagogue or a social group or even a freaking book club, do your makeup. If you're on the cheerleading squad, do your makeup. If you're on the board of a Fortune 500 company, do your makeup. If you work at uh, McDonald's or Luby's or Chick-fil-A or Zaxby's or Cane's, do your makeup. Uh, Walmart, do your makeup. And I say that, I say this, and I say that in all sincerity, because you never know who's watching. You never know who's looking at you. You never know who sees this. For all I know, <laughs> husband number two might be right here. Hey, boo, I can't wait till you come get me. <laughs> For all you know, he might be waiting, honey. He might be looking, searching. You know, he's been looking all his life for a woman just like you. But he's going to look over you to the girl with the beat face, the Instagram model looking woman, girl, um, if your face is not done. It is what it is. And here's another thing. Some men will tell you that they don't like women with all that makeup on. Baby, you look beautiful just the way you are. You know, I love you, baby, just the way you are. You're so sexy without all that makeup. I don't like uh, women that wear a bunch of makeup because I don't like all that makeup on my collar, or on my shirt. You know, they tell you little stuff like this, so you're like, oh, well, my man likes me natural. Mm -hmm. But then you catch him staring at this woman with a face full of makeup in the mall while y'all are eating at the food court. You catch him scrolling on Instagram, looking at, uh, <laughs> looking at eye makeup tutorials. You catch him on Instagram looking at the girls with the beat faces and the skinny mini little, little butts. And I thought you liked women with big butts. I thought you liked women. All the women that your man is looking at look totally different than you. Have you ever wondered why that is? <laughs> it's a trick, honey. It's a trick from the pit of hell. And I'm going to tell you how. It's all game. It's all game. They're going to tell you that because they don't want to pay for that makeup because they know it's expensive. Because they don't want you to look more appealing to the next man. Hmm. That's a major key. They know that if you do all of this makeup, other men, other people, other um, people other than him will start to look. And they'll be like, ooh. Let me see, is that, let me look at her makeup. Wow, you know, and they'll start, they'll, they'll wonder, I wonder how she did that. I wonder where she's from. Man, she's exotic looking, she's pretty, she's blah, blah, blah. They know you'll be all the buzz if you start doing your makeup. And his influence will get lesser and lesser and lesser and lesser as you start to add people to that circle. Cause people are gonna wanna be near you. They're gonna wanna talk to you. You're gonna be the new it girl. You know, you're going to be the next hottest thing if you start doing your makeup. So he knows that and he recognizes that. So game would tell him, oh, let me tell her I don't like that. Because I know she'll bend for me. I know she'll give in if I tell her I don't like something. I know she'll um, compromise 
if I tell her this. So let me go ahead and put this in her head so she won't want to do better or be better or have better. Hmm. You better think, you know, is he telling you this because he's trying to hold you back? Ask yourself this honestly, because if makeup can only enhance your beauty, if makeup can only add to what you already have naturally, why wouldn't he be a supporter of it? Why? Why wouldn't he? Um, I can tell you from my own experience, um, and I'll tell you as far as my relation, um, as far as my marriage, whatever we're calling this little thing I'm in, the treatment that I have received pre-makeup is so much different than it is post-makeup, okay? I have... Um, a whole new husband after I started putting on makeup um, <laughs> and it's it's funny to notice the change but I noticed it and I recognize it and that's why every time he sees me I'm always all dolled up and always put put together I do not allow my um, husband to see me before I'm completely done if I'm not completely done with my face and, um, you know, all put together, he doesn't see me like that at all because he's spent plenty of days seeing me without it. So um, now I'm putting a different idea of myself into his mind subconsciously, um, but consciously as well. He's like, man, I really need to get on it, you know, because she's switching the game up. What is going on? You know, um, it's not a bad thing. I think it's healthy. I really do. I think it's healthy for men um, to kind of be a little jealous and to recognize, oh man, she has the ability to go from this to this real quick, so I better stay on point. Always keep them on their toes. Always keep them wondering, is there a possibility that I could be replaced? You know, keep them wondering that and that'll always keep them in your back pocket. So ladies, if you've never worn makeup, here's the challenge. I want you to get every single kind of makeup you possibly can, and I'll explain. Um, when you do your makeup, you're going to start with um, primer, you need a powder, you need a foundation, you need um, contour, you need... Um, a brow pencil of some sort. Of course, you need um, eyeshadow. You need um, some highlight and mascara, lashes, lipstick, and a lipstick liner. And I say get all of these things because you want to try them. Some people don't need primer. Some people need a primer. And it depends on your skin type, so you're going to want to find this information out. They can help you with all of this stuff at Sephora. They can also help you at Ulta. Um, places where they sell a lot, a large quantity of makeup. Normally, they have people there that are doing makeup. They can help you with it in the mall to help you figure out what your skin type is and help you color match your um, foundation to your skin. Um... So there's ways that you can find out. You can take a picture of yourself and put it in an app and they'll be able to tell you, oh, okay, yeah, this is your color, you know? So um, I'm telling you all of this because some women think that um, lip liner and Vaseline with a little bit of mascara is a bare minimum look. And I'm here to tell you that it is not. This, uh, minus these lashes, because these lashes are a little dramatic. Um... This look, minus the lashes, maybe a um, less dramatic lash, would be, I would consider a bare minimum look for me. Um, my lipstick is actually not a lipstick. <laughs> it is a lip liner. So I have lip liner, um, a lighter shade with a darker shade on the outside um, with a little bit of gloss over the top of it. But that's it. Um, so I would consider this a bare minimum look for me. A lot of people say, ooh, Mickey, that's so glam. But, you know, I'll put some glitter on in a minute. 
but you you want to be as feminine as you possibly can at every turn you want to be um dainty and light and you want to be able to say stuff like that oh i can't go to the barbecue it's too hot what about my makeup you know you want to be able to say stuff like this you want to be able to say um well, I can't open up the peanut butter. Look at my nails, you know. You want to be able to be a woman, to be feminine, to be what you're naturally born to be. We're all naturally um, inclined to be a certain way. Some people are a little confused along the way, and that's okay too, you know. But a majority of people are inclined to be a certain way. If you're a woman, most likely you're inclined to be feminine. If you're a man, most likely you're inclined to be masculine. With femininity comes a really big responsibility as far as your look is concerned. When you're a woman, people expect you to look pretty. They just do. People expect you to look put together. People expect you to care about your appearance and your hair and your nails and stuff like that. People expect men to have money you know neither one of them is fair in the whole scheme of things it's not fair but guess what it is what it is suck it up and get to put no makeup let's sum it up should you wear makeup yes every woman should wear makeup um black white asian puerto rican um African, Canadian, Australian, everywhere. All seven continents, all over the world. You, ma'am, need to wear makeup. Niece, you need to wear makeup. Aunties, you need to wear makeup. Every woman needs to wear makeup. How often do I need to wear makeup? As often as you are seen in public, as often as you are around people of influence, as often as you are around um, a man <laughs> who is benefiting you in some sort of way, you need to be wearing makeup. Um, women of all ages need to wear makeup. And it does vary based on your skin type. Sometimes you can get away, or some women can get away with um, a bare minimum look that is a, a bare minimum look and they can look all dewy and ooey and gooey and um, you know just apply a very light um, application of makeup if you have totally clear skin this is you but see people like me that have this little stuff going on and you know this little stuff going on you need a full face baby full face of makeup there's nothing wrong with it it's not saying you're ugly it's not saying you're you know whatever it's just saying that you recognize that there are ways to enhance your beauty and you are going to take advantage of all of those enhancements <laughs> um to be able to put your best foot forward the the whole the whole of womanhood, everyone, all of us, should be striving to be our best. Your goal in life every day should be to have the best day that you possibly can. And I would venture to say that you're going to have a much more better day if you spend the time working on your makeup as opposed to if you did not. Um, if you have to be to work early, wake up earlier and get your makeup done. Have that pot of coffee going early so that you have the energy and the stamina to do your makeup. If you have to wake up, you know, let's say if you have to wake up at, I don't know, five o'clock for work, start on your makeup at 4.30, at four. Give yourself time, take time with yourself to look at yourself and ask yourself, okay, how am I presenting myself to the world? What's the best image that can be portrayed of me today? Am I willing to give my best foot forward 
or give my best effort or am I just going to be mediocre and I don't care today? Ask yourself these things and I guarantee you that um, your life will change, circumstances in your life will change, people in your life will change as well. Um, you'll notice that some people will be intimidated when you start wearing makeup and they'll start to shy away from you and oh you think you're better and you know, you can't do certain things because of all this makeup you got going on and all of that. And that's okay. Um, because new people will start to replace those old people. You'll get people who tell you, oh my God, you're so beautiful. I can't, uh, who did your makeup? Did you do that yourself? You'll replace the intimidated people with people who celebrate you when you start to celebrate yourself and you start to um, recognize your value and open yourself up so that other people can see your value. Think about it. I'm Michaela Pink. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget about our um, 5,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, take a look at that video, which it was a couple of um, videos ago. Take a look at that. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Subscribe like this video, like this video, like this video, comment. Thank you guys so much for all your support and love. I am still on vacation for another couple days. Um, thank you for still, you know, checking up on me and sending me emails and um, continuing to book your consultations. Um, thank you guys so much for that. I really appreciate all the um, messages and things that I've been getting um i'm michaela pink thank you guys so much for watching don't forget about our 5,000 subscriber giveaway um i talked about that i made a video about that a couple of videos ago so check out that video to to um take a look at the specifics and the rules the prizes that I'm going to be giving away to three of my um, subscribers that I'm just going to pick randomly. Um, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, share, comment. Tell me what you guys think about makeup. Do you guys wear makeup every day or is it kind of a um, hit or miss kind of thing? Let me know what you think. Um, I, I like reading your comments. I do read all of them. Uh, and I appreciate all of the feedback that you guys give me on my videos. Um, I like going back and forth in my comments with you all. Uh, if you want to reach me directly, um, my contact information is below. So you can email me, you can um, book consultations with me, you can um, friend me on Facebook and we can chat that way. Um, but you know, reach out, reach out. I love talking to you guys. I love the feedback that you guys are offering. Um, Thanks to you guys who are just checking on me, you know, seeing how my day is going. Uh, ever since I made that little comment on the last video, I've been getting a lot of, hey, Mickey, how's it going? How are you doing? You and the boys and stuff. So I appreciate those. Um, I am still on vacation. I will be back in a couple of days. This video is, of course, pre-recorded, but I wanted to keep the content coming so you guys can keep coming back and... Um, you know, keep getting into this mind of mind. I think um, I have a lot of uh, ideas and stuff that, you know, I've learned along the way and I've been taught and retaught myself and stuff I think about. So I just like sharing it with you guys. And I like the fact that you guys are enjoying it and giving me, you know, positive feedback. So um, enjoy your day. If this is the daytime when it's posted, enjoy your evening. If it's the nighttime when this is posted, um, come back and I will have more content for you guys. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.